been a great day, everybody. I just wanted to share some details about my experiences with Prince Hall Masons. So the first experience is with my great uncle, which is my grandmother's brother. He was a Mason and he pimped out his sisters. Yeah. Yeah, he pimped out his sisters. And my second experience is my oldest daughter, father's mother, is also a Eastern star. I didn't I knew them for 20 years and I never knew. But I did know that it took me three years to get my child support. I had to submit my application multiple times. Also, when my daughter was six weeks, a week before her six weeks visit, my daughter's father wrecked. I had a Jeep Wrangler, the ones with the convertible tops. He was a truck driver. I actually helped him get his CDLs. A week before my daughter's six week visit, he wrecked my Jeep. He hit a man who was stopped at the railroad tracks waiting on a train. Total, never even got a ticket. His mother, she was a secretary to the mayor of the city of Rivera, Rivera Beach. This all can be verified. That stuff stayed on my credit. My daughter father never got a ticket. His mom came to the scene. She's a high ranking Eastern star and he never got a ticket. No one ever helped me pay for my car. My, my insurance on my Jeep had just lapsed two days before for me begging him to help me out, seeing that I just had his child. Then he wrecks my Jeep and never got a ticket or anything. That's what they use their powers to, to do. They are all witches and, weir and warlocks. They sit and they do witchcraft and send demonic energies to people. It's not a physical attack. They send demons and spirits and entity after people. I have experienced this personally. My father, which is not no longer in my life, he says he's a he was a mason, but he got out of out of it because of his spiritual beliefs. But from my understanding, it's no out. You can't get out. It's a lifetime thing. He was also boule. So with knowing all this, this is what I attribute to my gang stalking. This was the experience. I never met a upstanding Mason, not one. They stand my energies. I have posted multiple videos concerning I feel like I am being gang stalked by Prince Hall Masons. And this is what it could be Masons in general, but they're always people of color. And I know a black person cannot be a part of the Caucasian Masonic Hall. So for me, they follow me. They turn in front of me. They're always, I have pictures, I have videos, but to me, I just wanted to share my story so some people can understand or comprehend why I feel the way I feel about Prince Hall Masons. They're not good people. They're not my daughter's father. He ended up being a Mason, a drunk, uh, misused women, a womanizer, all of them in love with money. It's not, it's not about becoming an enlightened person. They joined this orga organization to to propel their self financially for the hookups. Like I explained, for what happened with my daughter's father and his mother, he wrecked my car and never got a ticket. And he just had, I don't think he had his CDLs a year at that time. I helped him get his CDLs. This is what type of people. So when I see Masonic people on my Facebook, following me I know they're not good all of them have the same mentality I never met a kind hearted genuinely kind hearted enlightened mason not one 
I even research why it's it's some countries that ban Masonic halls in their country because they know this group is a demonic evil group. And we're seeing this in the United States. They abuse power and they're literally everywhere in the court system, their police, their nurses, doctors, lawyers, people in high society. And I keep going back to it's a big thing with PDD, PDD right now, but they never, they never discuss the groups, the cults that these people are a part of. They never discuss or expose the people who groom these monsters. They never talk about the demonic parents who are Masonic, high up Masonics, and people don't know. When you are high up Masonic, you sacrifice your family. You curse your whole bloodline. And then you want to harass family members who don't want to be a part of the foolishness. I just want to bring, drop that little tea today. I pray that you all are blessed, stay strong, because I know the attacks are real. It's going down in these streets. You know, demonic attacks are real. Um... I watched the I watched the testimonies online and we were all going through the same thing and it's common the common denominators like but what can we do when it's a part of government? You know, this is gang stalking and we are the people. These people are supposed to be protecting us and making life easier for us. Instead they want to rule us and dominate us. It's still a form of slavery. But I just want to let you guys know, stay prayed up. Be aware of everything's going on around you. Take notes and, and mind. Be mindful. There are other people online, on YouTube, online that are going through the same things. So just make sure you take a note of everything that you are going through. Take a note of the people and the organizations they're affiliated with. Know about the people on your job. I just it's just crazy that law abiding citizens pay their taxes, don't get in trouble or being harassed. And then you got killers, drug dealers, high and low places that run free and they're glamorized. Look at all these six celebrities. Six celebr celebrities abusing women and children. Living the life. That should let you know this is a demonic world that we live in. And it's definitely not being governed by God right now. It's coming. God's time, because the devil's time is up. But this is definitely a system of the devil. And I pray for each and every one of y'all. Stay uplifted. I love you. Peace and blessings.